So a little while ago, a friend of mine started streaming and they told me that they have no idea how Stream Elements works or how to make an overlay using it. Seeing as I used to stream, back then I learned to do all kinds of wild things with Stream Overlays. So here I thought I'd make a simple, easy to follow guide on how to utilize Stream Elements to create your Stream Overlay. I'll even have a little bit of a bonus tip for you guys at the end, so stay tuned hit that like button, consider a subscription, and let's go. So the first thing you wanna do is go over to streamelements.com. Log in and head over to your dashboard. From dashboard, streaming tools, my overlays. In overlays, you wanna to go to new overlay and it will open the editor for you. Here you choose the resolution of your stream and click start. Once you've done that, you now have a canvas that you can use. But keep in mind, this is very hard to keep track of when you're making your overlay. And that is why I strongly recommend you to design your stream outside of stream elements and then bring a screenshot of that design into stream elements so you can use that as reference let's do that right now so we're going to go to plus static and image we're going to click set image we're going to go to upload and in here we're going to drag and drop our screenshot just make sure that everything is correct Click upload and submit. Resize it to fit the canvas. There we go. And this is our background. Now we don't want this to be visible in the overlay itself, surprisingly. So just toggle the visibility off. It will fade out the image in the background, but it will not be visible in the overlay itself. Now this is where you can add anything you want. So in my case, with the design that I made, I have a widget down here that is a different source than stream elements. And if I had a border, I would go to plus, static, image, set image and find a border, upload it to the, just like you did before and submit. Now you have your border. Now you can resize it how you want, place it wherever you want. If I use it with that, I would just resize it like so. The snapping can get in the way, so use it if you need to. And something like that. It doesn't look perfect right now, but don't worry, we'll fix that in OBS. Another thing I will add this in the game screen itself would be the rotator widget. This is where you would do all of those as well. So all your alerts, you want your alerts to come through and you can choose where that would happen. For example, if I was streaming Elden Ring, I would throw that probably in the bottom corner so it doesn't block anything. And now if you get a subscriber, you can see that it pops up down below. Let's just quickly give this a name game overlay. And now we have pretty much everything we need. We, If you want to throw more stuff, you can. Something like hype cups. I have no idea what that is. Let's just get rid of it. <laughs> but possibly videos or your stream's chat, for example. You wanted that to be visible on the game screen for some reason. You could. 
like so. Then you just simply save and you bring it into OBS. But let's make the second one first so we can have a better look at how it's going to work. So that would be our game overlay. Then you go to new overlay, start and make chat overlay, intermission, be right back, whatever you need. Once again, you want to add your design as the background. Oh, that's the text. Go to image, set image, upload, and throw in your screenshot. Upload, submit, drag to size, and finally toggle visibility off. So here you can see a bit more stuff. The rotator would go to the top. I'm gonna to do that in a second. This is an OBS, so don't mind that. These, the social media pop-ups, those are in the background itself, made into that. So this border right here is what we would add. Once again, plus image, set image, upload, and drag in your camera border. Once again, upload, submit, and now you have it in here. Now you can see the true beauty. We can see exactly how big it needs to be. Just drag it into its rightful place. And there you go. Now we have our border. Just go ahead and save that. If you want to add some kind of a widget that you get a link to, and it's in this way, that it's its own overlay, you can simply go to edit, and the widget will be inside, working as it's supposed to. Just click on it, duplicate, and now you can choose to throw it into another overlay. So here we're gonna throw it in chat and the game overlay. Submit. This is done. We can just go back. Go into our chat overlay. And look here. We have the widget right here. It's running. It's ready. We can resize it. This is a fantastic. Just a fantastic widget. I do recommend getting it. It's so clean. It's good looking so easily adjustable the guy who made it is is a is a beast then just throw it where you would want it save this do the same thing in our game overlay you could fine-tune this easily if you needed to Right now, we're, I'm just concerned about getting it set up. Oh, another thing I wanted to add was the background for the rotator. That would also be done in stream elements. Once again, set image. This should be familiar now. Just throw it in, upload, submit. There we go. Put it in its place. Make sure that your layer order is correct so now the rotator will be where it's supposed to and now we're done next we're gonna want to throw these in to OBS to do that you simply go to three dots and copy URL so once you're in OBS you want to hop over to your new scene that you created, or if you haven't yet, create a screen. Then you wanna add your source, whatever it is. In this case, this scene would be the game scene. So this would most likely be a game capture. I'm not playing a game right now, so just to have something on the screen, we're gonna use screen capture here. Then you wanna add your camera. Mine would be the 
this one. This is a scene source, which has a camera in it. And then we have our now playing widget is where it's supposed to be. Then we go to plus, we go to browser and we add our game overlay. Now it's going to open up this window in URL, just paste your link that you just copied in stream elements. So your game overlay URL, make sure that the width and height are correct. So full HD 1920 by 1080 and just click OK. And now you can see it upgraded, updated even. So we have our camera border right here, our rotator and the rotator background, our stream chat over on the left side. Now seeing as my camera is surprisingly used in this window and I can't capture it in OBS a second time, I'm going to use the screenshot of my camera that I had before. There we go. Now I have my screenshot up here, which will be representing my camera. Put it in its right place and make sure that it's underneath your overlay. And as you can see, there is our border. Now it doesn't look great, does it? That is because I'm going to show you how you can make shapes out of your camera. Now, if you're going to make shapes with your camera, it does require an extra step. So instead of just simply throwing in your camera as a source, as a video capture device, you would instead create a new scene, which you would name uh, game scene camera, for example. Go to plus video capture device and now you throw your camera here but in my case i'm going to throw my game camera which would be on my screenshot which is representing my screen which is representing my camera right now and just make it full screen in there perfect now when you throw it in your game scene, you don't add a video capture device, you add a scene, and that would be the one that we just created. So game scene camera, okay. And you can see, here we have our camera. Why we want to do it like this is because when you make your weird shape, so you go to filters, plus, image mask slash blend choose the blank shape that you got with your assets hopefully and then just change the type to alpha channel close and now you have your camera in the shape that it's supposed to be for your overlay let's just adjust it a little bit and make sure it's underneath your overlay in your sources. Now we have a border, but the reason we did it this way is because now that we hop into our chat window and we add our, if we added our, if we put the filter on the camera source, then when we add the camera in here, it would once again be the same shape as it is in the other source. That is why we would add chat scene camera. And we go to plus video capture device, or in my case, image. Choose your camera, make it the same way as it was before. And now when we go to our chat window or intermission screen, whatever, instead of throwing in the game scene camera, we now go to scene and choose our chat scene camera. And lo and behold, it's the same source, but it is still in its normal shape. 
Now you can do whatever you want with this if you want to make it widescreen ish you can you just simply stretch it out and filters prop bottom well maybe 175 because it's relative we want to do 175 and maybe 200 you get the point but we also wanted to add our overlay from stream elements so once again go back to your stream elements go back to your overlays find your chat overlay and copy the url now we would do chat overlay throw it in and you have your overlay which in my case would bring the rotator up here and a window for my screen up here. Now I made the screen a different shape as well. And that is fun because make we can do it easily. I can just make a new scene, which would be chat screen. Add a new source, which would be display capture. Add existing screen. Yep. Go to example chat. Add our source, which would be our scene once again. And chat screen. That is now inside throw it underneath the overlay so it's in line with the border make it the right size and once again filters plus image mask blend choose your correct mask and switch to alpha channel and there we go now we have our computer screen with a border in a refreshing different kind of shape. And that's pretty much it. So now if you wanted notifications, they would pop up here. Your rotator is happening. You have a cam border. You have your weird shaped mask. Everything is working, hopefully. Not bad, right? That is everything. That is how you import a simple stream overlay in stream elements. I only went over how to import, how to use an overlay, not so much as how to make one. But if you're interested in something like that, let me know in the comments below. I might be happy to make one. If you have any questions, please shoot just let me know and i'll be happy to answer that thank you so much for watching hope you found this video helpful or at least entertaining consider a subscription if you did now we'll see you guys next time i'm lo-fi bye